The periodic table is organized in such a manner that the elements have been placed in columns and rows according to their physical and chemical similarities. The Chemex School Periodic Table has been designed for use in auditoriums and classrooms with an emphasis on optimal clarity of trends and characteristics. The purpose of the radio buttons in the upper part of Chemex School Periodic Table is to quantitatively have the ability to compare a specific properties. By pressing 1 the periodic table 22 radio buttons, we get an overall information for a specific property located above each symbol. The Chemex School periodic table has color-coded push buttons. This give an extra dimension of information, the colors represents important physical differences between the elements such as reactivity, electrical conductivity, and more. We group the elements the following way. Alkali metals Alkaline earth metals Lanthanides Actinides Transition metals Post-transition metals Metalloids Other non-metals Halogens Noble gases the elements can also be divided into blocks each representing a particular valence electron configuration. As an example, the elements having their last valence electron present in the S orbital are called the S block elements. S block elements D block elements P block elements F block elements. The following view options are available. The trends by color option allows us to see, for example, boiling points represented by colors ranging from blue to red in a relative manner. Blue represents low values, red represents high values. To remove all the written content of an element rectangle, Uncheck Properties Text and Symbols. By checking the Periodic Table Plot button we can visualize trends in a graphic manner. Here we see the relationship between atomic number and density. It is also possible to investigate group trends. In this case electronegativity. To get extended information about each element, we have to open the properties window by clicking for example the hydrogen button. In the properties window we can view all information of each element simultaneously activated by a push button for each element. By pressing the history radio button we get information about he circumstances and background of the discovery, common compounds, allotropes, use, and more. The stable isotopes radio button gives us information about mass numbers, abundance, atomic mass, spin, resonance frequency, relative receptivity, magnetic moment, quadrupole moment, magnetogyric ratio. If we click on the unstable isotopes radio button, we will get information about radioactive decay, decay products, and related information such as isotopes and their mass numbers, or nucleon numbers, atomic mass, half-life, decay modes, decay energy, particle energy. Particle I tensities Spin Magnetic moment By clicking the decay radio button, 
we can observe the decay pathway of the unstable isotopes. The susceptibility push button gives us information about in what degree an element will become magnetized in an applied magnetic field. Thank you for watching this Chemex School tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe.